You heard me say this before, there's only two type of people in this world. One that wish they could be a part of Southern Lab, and ones that are a part of Southern Lab. See, I go back to antiquity. Southern Lab has no rival. Every school, no matter what they think, football runs whatever they do. I want to say eight, nine years, he's been for a district championship. We get out the mud here, and I wouldn't say it's all we got, but it's all we want. Yo, what's good? You know where we at. We want all the smoke. We in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, covering the biggest rivalry in the state. Southern Lab, who has the nastiest line in the country. Hey, what's on your ass? You can get it, too. Five-star Cardell Thomas versus Kentwood. We're here to show you how the South gets down. The OT way. Let's get it. Yo, what's good? It's 6 a.m. in the morning. We're on our way to Cardell Thomas' house. Now, if you've never heard of this kid, then you're tripping, tripping. Because this guy is everywhere. His name is Mr. Pancake for a reason. The baddest lineman in the country. He's 6'4", 320. He's the local superstar, the local hometown hero, and he's committed to LSU Tigers. Now, I want to see what this kid's eating for breakfast, because this kid is a beast. What's up? Yeah, what's good? Mr. Pancake in the building. What's up, how you doing? What's going on? Right, good, good to see you, Malik, Malik. Mama, hi, Mama. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me come in. Where are my homies, you all's home? Hey, you really get to see the access like this. I'm finna start on breakfast. Oh. Cause Mr. Pancakes, if he don't have his pancakes, he gonna mess up his whole day. It's the day before the game. Oh, he got 24 hours. It's not just a regular yeah. opponent. This right. is Kentwood. What's the trash talk looking like? Is it fans too? The fans get into it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Mama. <laughs> got to keep on my I'll get you understand, y'all. She nice right now. You know? <laughs> when them lights come on, y'all gonna see a whole I'm going hard. Thing. So what makes Louisiana football just so different? You know, like football is not us, but it's the only thing we got. It's the only thing we be like really passionate oh, about. Football. But I know I'm not the same as the person you know who don't play football. Yeah. Who not, you know, who not in my shoes. I know I can't go in there and do what they can do, you know, for us not playing football. So we get out the mud here. And I wouldn't say it's all we got, but it's all we want. So well, thank you, mom. Oh no, thank Last you all. Been great. Over time been I mean, been been oh, awesome. Yeah. Alright, brother. Alright. We'll see you at lunch. You go yes. out there and kill math class, do your thing, and we'll catch up with you. Man. Good. See y'all at lunch. Here at Southern Lab, we're just gonna get the vibe of the guys and the people around school, see what they think about the game tomorrow. They all don't really mess with Kent with What don't y'all like no, about it? It's just well, they fans for one thing. They talk so much, and when you we went to their home, they actually threw. Parents. Yeah, they threw beer bottles at us and was walking to the locker room like trash. All kind of stuff was walking to the locker room. What? Yeah, it's, it's that crazy. This was last year. Yeah, last year, no respect at all. No respect. And then, no respect and then they tell us they be like, "Hey, kitty, kitty." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, kitty, kitty. Kitty. hey, kitty, hey kitty, kitty. Trey Palmer tweeted that yesterday. He tweeted, "Oh, kitty, kitty, oh, kitty, kitty, kitty." Yeah. Then I tweeted. The rules about to get it, believe that. Oh, the rules. You didn't even say the whole name. Lil' Vodka. Yeah, Trey Palmer, I mean, that's the, that's the man on the other side. Of the we gonna lock him up. I know, we gonna lock him up. You know what I'm We might have one or two you know, games. They're gonna play cornerback, too. We gonna lock him up. They're gonna play cornerback. They're gonna play cornerback. They're gonna play cornerback. They're gonna play Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I started free safety right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 he come across that middle, he might get a leak. He might get a leak. What you gonna do? I know Mike. Oh, I'm catching up. You got know about two peaks. Two one of them could be a peak six. Yeah, and about two of Oh, so you going out on top. Easy. Easy. While Cardell heads back to class, his boy Ashton is gonna show me around LSU, the powerhouse school that everybody in Baton Rouge wants to play for. Yo, what's good? What's good, baby? The leak, man. Thanks for helping me out, man. This is uh, this is pretty big, you know. I just want to be able to get to see what's going on with LSU, get a little bit of the campus, and then just talk about the Southern and Kentwood. I mean, I know it's a deep rivalry for this game. Man, we hate them. They hate us. <laughs> oh, no, there you go back there. They almost don't look real. Well, he's real now. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> he still has his instinct, you know. <laughs> Real Tiger in the background, yo. I see you. I see you, man. Oh. <laughs> Damn. All right, man, I'm about to go to practice. Always, you know what I'm man. Always, man. Good meeting you, man. Always. Yes, Wait, I'm but before you leave, you got to give us a prediction on the Kentwood Southern Lab. Let's go with 35. I'll give him six. Oh, that's generous. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thirty-five six. I mean, that's, it sounded like it was gonna be a blowout. Oh yeah. We out here at Southern Labs' last practice. Southern Labs is one of the best teams in Louisiana, period. They're 8-1 on the season and won seven straight, and they're one game away from winning their district title against their rival, Kentwood. This is going down. This practice is serious. It's all about mental focus and mental preparation to get ready for that game one. My guy, Cardell Thomas, is the baddest lineman in the country. Not only is he the baddest, but he's the fastest. He runs the 4x100 for school. I mean, what other O-lineman you know does that? Crazy. At 6'4", 320, he's the most versatile lineman in the country. Plays all over the line. He can do it all. He can pull. He can lead block. He can pancake. He is Mr. Pancake. The next guy to look out for on Southern is none other than Ty Davis, the next great LSU running back. They talk about Leonard Fournette. They talk about Darius guys. What well, this guy's next. He's 6'1", 230, a straight tank. He's got wiggle and he's got breakout speed. And not only that, he can steamroll you over too. This is the truth right here. And them two as a combo is a dangerous mix. What's it gonna take for Southern to come out with this win? Well, it's gonna have to start off front my man Cardell. He's gotta be able to control that offensive line and get some things shaken. Blue old doors from the defenders, so you got my man Ty Davies that can come in and clean up work. They gotta work together like PB and J or like the SWAT team. Cardio come down and knock down the door, and Ty Davis come in and do what he does best. That's take out the other team. I like that. Please. You are the number one team in the state. You play like it. Nobody should have to motivate you for this guy. Anytime you're playing for a championship, that's self-motivation. Seniors, hurry up. Let's get off the field. Let's go get dressed. All right, for our uh, senior dinner. Last <laughs> family on three. One, two, three. Last family. family. We just got done with the last practice before the game. Now it's time for the senior dinner. It's the chance for these guys to reflect on the brotherhood they built and relax before the district championship tomorrow. I know you're supposed to wait for the families to eat. Not I, no sir. <laughs> I had to get in, I had to dig in quick. I asked for forgiveness, not permission. I couldn't find no seat, so I made a seat. I just need to take a minute to thank all the mamas that made this. Cause they put their foot, arm, leg, elbow, and this food right here. It's so damn good. I don't even think I can say that, but this food make you want to say that. So now y'all gotta be ready to play now. Y'all ain't got a great meal. So y'all nervous or what y'all feeling like? Y'all just want to get a good sleep in? We believe in ourselves all the time. At all the time. Man. All the time. Then like I said, you know, the Kenwood mask we got for him. Get that, get that on camera, look Kenwood mask. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, huh. my use, first of all, no, no pass to talk. No? No. I got a 15 game streak, no pass to talk. No. So and I got five picks this year, so I'm going for about seven. So Trey Palmer, he said on the internet that he coming for you, though. Come on, man. Believe me, man. Come on, I look like I said ball <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hey, the defense about it. We're going to see the offense about it. We're going to check them out. Believe it or not, back there used to be concrete. It used to oh, be yeah. sticking out the ground. Yeah, we pressed on concrete. Sand and concrete. That's what made our ankle so strong. Y'all <laughs> were stomping the yard on that concrete. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Like We real like brothers. Come on, give him yeah, a taste of that bounce. You got hit in the New Orleans bounce. Hey, here's a cool one. Hey, bounce it, make it up, 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 It's just sad it's coming to the end, you know, when you've been going through the same classes, grinding with the same people, you know, for six years. And then now it's coming to the end, but we're going to go out with a band. Love y'all, boys. Just like that wraps up senior dinner. I mean, these guys have done everything. They've been funny, emotional. It's been fun and games. But listen, tomorrow, it gets serious. These guys got all the laughs out now. But tomorrow is going down. Kentwood week, baby. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, baby? What's up? Game day, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Ready to get started. Get to these rules, man. Hey, looking like 300 yards today. Oh, I know. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you got the hand warmer like it's 30 below. I know where I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, we got Ted right here, the oh, superstar. Yeah. yeah, what's up with that? I know we talked a lot about Ty Davis and Cardell Thomas taking over this game, but somebody that there's a secret weapon for Southern Lab is none other than Teddy Knox, the sophomore, super sophomore, the number two receiver and the number two player in Louisiana. I mean, this kid is special, and we're going to see what he does tonight against their rival, Kentwood. You ain't nervous? Oh no, I ain't nervous. I mean, you go out there and show out, man. Right. Mark out. That's what receivers do. They yeah. never, they never fall under the pressure. So we just got done talking to Cardell right before he gets ready for his game. But now, now we're gonna see what's going on out here. Now I see there's a tailgate over there and I wanna check it out. Oh man, what is this? We got hot wings. We got a band in the hour, isn't it? It's gonna make a CG. <laughs> Hey, Best of the side of the Mississippi, right? That's right. He's so like nonchalant. Like. So it's like, Cardell, you like that? Did you see him when he said, oh, oh, hey. so I was like, oh, I can't believe no. it. Hey. Cardell, that. On the field, it's different. On the field, it's different now. He said, he said, he said yeah, you know, I changed when I <laughs> I want to go straight at their ass. Alright? Go get, get your ass on that first side line, brother. Let's go. Produce right, double line of truth. That's something you can't have in a big rivalry game like this. You give a momentum to the other team, and now your back's against the wall in your own red zone. Hey, he gave it to him! He had to pay a sacrifice for that touchdown. Southern Labs down seven, and their offense is sputtering. That D needs to step up and make a play. Now it's time for the O to do their part, and the best way to make that happen is to give that ball to Ty Davis and run behind the big man Cardell. over this big over turnover field position and we're able to punch it in the end zone with Ty Davis. And you got them two boys up front, Ty and Cardell. It's an easy two-point conversion. Heading into halftime, Southern's down a point and they gave up a safety. When you're down in a rivalry game, every point matters. What you thought it was going to be? It's a dog fight. We got to fight. Let's finish, guys. We got to fight. In the second half, Southern's got to stick with what they do best. Running the ball behind the top lineman in the country, Big Cardell Thomas. Oh, stay in there, keep whooping his ass. Easy money, that's how you want to start the second half hot. To give Ty the ball. Easy. 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 After a big stop by the D, it's up to Cardell and Ty to put this game away. He's gonna say, I lost the truth, I lost the truth. Monday, Monday, go! After going up two scores, Southern Labs D kept popping the pads, and their offense punched one more in, bringing the final score to Southern Lab 28, Kentwood 9. The Dirty South lives up to the name when you got boys like Cardell bullying people out there on the field. But they also show mad love down here too. 
It was dope rolling with these boys all week and getting into their rivalry the OT way. They're about to change the game at the next level, and when they do, just remember who kicked it with them first, you heard? Where else can you see videos like this? Only at Overtime. Click right here so you can see more of these videos, and also click subscribe. If you haven't done that yet, you're in your couch, you're actually slacking. Do that right now. Larry says so.